Breaking right off the top of the Fox 8 5 o'clock news, the Greensboro Police Department has released the body camera video from a shooting involving an officer on Tuscaloosa Street on the city's east side that happened in June of last year. And this comes after a formal request to a judge back in February to release that video to the public. Fox 8's Madison Forsey combed through that footage for us and joins us here in the studio to break things down. Yeah, well, this all started with a suspicious vehicle called a police around midnight on June 22nd of 2023. In a video statement, Chief Thompson walked through the events and shared the 911 call about that car came from the home of the victim, 51 year old Graham Roberson. Now we're going to show you the video from the officer's vehicle and his body worn camera from the point where he sees Roberson to what happens next. But we do want to warn you, there's going to be a couple seconds of silence and then you're going to hear hear a pretty violent sound. So this could be difficult. Twenty-two day one shots fired, shots fired. According to Chief Thompson, Officer John Corrigan says he saw Roberson. You can see him there, wave him down, then shift a black handgun from his left to right hand and aim it at Corrigan. Corrigan fired five shots through the passenger window. Now we're choosing not to show you the next piece of this video when Roberson is on the ground before EMS gets there, but Corrigan does do CPR to try to save Roberson. You can also see that black gun. That's what the officer saw Roberson carrying under the car. Investigators later found that gun was a BB gun and Roberson had another revolver style toy gun in his waistband. Officer John Corrigan was placed on administrative leave last June and returned to regular duty in February when the district attorney shared the decision with Chief John Thompson not to charge him. I did try to reach out to Roberson's family members, but I was not able to get into contact with them. Guys.